what you are about to witness is the number one team in Canada, the McMaster Marauders. The three CIS championships I've gone to, we've always played the host team, every single one. The first year was at Laval and we experienced how loud and crazy and rambunctious a crowd could be. And the same within Calgary, same within in Sask. So it just sort of adds a more level of excitement knowing that the crowd will be on our side because we've always had to deal with the crowd sort of being against us in the past and now the crowd is going to be for us. So I think it just it doesn't add any level of pressure, it's just more of like an excitement, more of like this is our floor, this is our fans and kind of getting excited and, and pumped up. Nice little back set there by Graham, picked up by the Maroon. And no chance at the backcourt there for Simone, as that was just hammered by McMaster. Poor Here's Simone in the back there getting the little tip off. This is what we were talking about earlier, the men's game having an extra piece of arsenal like Joanna in the front court for McMaster. I love just the, the team aspect of the sport. In a lot of different sports you play, you can you can get away with sort of being more of an individual, but in volleyball, if one like one person can't pass and they get served every time, it's your team's not gonna be able to get the ball over the net. Right? Like it takes the whole team to make everything work together. And if one person like doesn't do their skill properly, then the whole thing falls apart. So what made me fall in love with it is it's no matter what, it's a whole team moving together in whatever direction they want. Well, at all times, 9 4 now. That was Stephen Marr with that hit, outside hitter, and he also played in the Pan Am Cup this summer. He won the MVP and has been a standout outside and coming back from injuries. There you see Brandon Coppers literally come out of nowhere just to tip that one in. We know, all know that like no matter what, we're going to be playing our first game of the CIS quarterfinal here at home, 8 o'clock on March 12th. But we're not really looking forward to that. We sort of focus on the task at hand because there's no point in looking too far ahead because it's, you don't want to like be too far forward thinking. You just want to think ahead to the task at hand and what you got to do to get to that point. It'd be like a, like a storybook ending to like my life in volleyball. Like every year you, you work so hard to, to get a chance to win. And we've came so close in the past and we've, we've, we have had a taste of what it's like to, to be on that stage. And so to, to, to cap it off with a gold medal would mean everything. It would sum up my life of playing volleyball perfectly.